Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. You looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me in another war story. This is the one that takes place in the Italian Alps, as I am a member of the RDT. While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. And I was in full body armor. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the RDT were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. Yeah, Italy really for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Any troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first. Jesus, this is one of the worst. Oh god. This is one of the worst. In multiplayer, this is like one of the elite things. I personally find this to be one of the worst ones that you can get. God, I have this body armor. One round left. Yeah, and I got the freaking automatic. What? It didn't. It didn't reload that one thing there. Oh god, grenade, let's get the fuck out of there. What the hell? Good. Oh god, there's another flamethrower? That's not good. Oh my god. All right, I need to get into one of these trenches. And there's no point in like aiming down the site with this gun. Jesus Christ. Okay, watch out. Because he's about to explode. After the flame troops were some foot soldiers. After that, the chill be ours. Wow, got that whole Alright, so now I gotta take the church. Not happening. Nice try. Alright, yeah. I'm just gonna stand here. Ow, from behind. Really? Oh my god. How else are they shooting me from? There we go, my god. Alright, 
Taking the charge. This guy getting freaking slaughtered, man. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. I don't even know if I did a full intro, but yeah, I'm Seventy Enthusiast. Thank you so much for joining me in this other war story. This got started out really hectic. Oh my god. Okay, and um, this is the one with the Italian Alps. Thank you so much for joining me. I've said that like four or five times. I knew. Get some limpid charges. Uh, keep the grenades. Okay, more grenades. I got plenty of guys. Great. Great. What I needed right now. Enjoy this. Boom. Boom. Alright. So now we're just going to try and take this. Take this freaking bunker up there. Matteo and the entire Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery gun remained. So I had to take it down. Me by my lonesome in my armor. I think it's crazy that in World War One they were still using armor like this. I'm curious as to how like effective it was. Like I understand like body armor is still used to this day, but not like this. It's, they were pretty much wearing like Freaking like medieval full plate armor. what kind of happens, right? You can't wear a giant tank of gas on your back and not expect to blow up. How'd you get behind me? I have to say, getting caught on fire with all this armor on you gotta fucking suck too. safe was to blow up the gun itself. Honestly not caring that there's munitions and shit. Yeah, just a quick little stab. Okay, roll that away from that limpet charge. There we go. Boom! That explosion was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. My god, this dude's like a super soldier. The 
gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. No, oh, he's just telling this story to his daughter. Oh, well, I have ammo here. Three bullets left. I take down the last man, but then I hear a noise that I will never forget. They were targeting Mateo's unit below me, so I do the only thing I can. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squad. Typical Italian, like. Not saying he didn't do this, but it's me against the entire bomber squad. I'm Italian, and I know what that's like. We had no reinforcements. If those men were killed, our advance would be completely halted, and I would have lost Matteo. Right, his love for his brother is intense, man. Ow, ow, ow. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Well, I mean, I had a full thing of armor, so I'm hoping I'm alright. Oh god. Not good, come on. Oh, did I die? I died. Looks like I died. Yep. Damn! That's intense. Would be completely altered, and I would have lost my tail. I feel like in the story mode, the AA gun is like I mean, the multiplayer is really freaking strong, too, but I feel like it's pretty After intense. After the first here. few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Boom! Victory! Where's the other one? Oh, there it comes. How is this dude not the most decorated hero ever in Italy? Get up, get up. Up, <gasps> oh, he's alive. 
Perfect hair. Perfectly quaffed hair. I love it. Themselves. Oh God, Mateo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. I had uh, to find Right, pause. Before we get too much deeper into this chapter. Alright, that's the end of that chapter. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, that was chapter one in the Battlefield 1 War Stories. Uh, I think it's called Avanti Saveo. Savio, I think that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any in mind that might enjoy my videos, please feel free to share them. If you guys want to talk about how great Battlefield 1 is, please feel free to start a conversation in the comment section below. I love taking part in conversations with you guys. I think you guys are smart, brilliant, entertaining people. So please do that. Um, if you guys haven't already and you guys don't ever want to miss a single one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for doing so. I uh, hope you guys also saw that thank you to my 100 subscribers or... I don't know how many subscribers I have at this point. I probably, if it's still 105, my 105 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much. Um, go check out that video if you haven't. If you're one of my subscribers, go check it out. I'm thanking you guys so much for doing everything. I'm also going to be talking about what I'm going to be doing for the channel now that I have a, a pretty consistent uh, group of subscribers. Um, so thanks you guys so much for doing that. Go check that video out. I'll probably link it in the description below or annotate it somewhere or something like that. Um, so yeah, be sure to go check that one out. And uh, yeah, be sure to look forward to the next chapter uh, coming out on Tuesday. Um, and that is Thanksgiving. This is Thanksgiving week. Sorry, I'm recording this a little in advance. So yeah, if, if it's Thanksgiving, there will be the usual videos will be continuing to show up over the Thanksgiving holidays. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving weekend. If you guys watch this after Thanksgiving, hope it was a lot of fun. Hope you ate a lot of turkey. Hope you slept. Hope you watched some football. Hope you had a good vacation. Uh, I know we all kind of need it at this point. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for taking the time, spending the time with me and watching this video. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Kisses and hugs. Kisses and hugs. Love in the world. Um, but yeah, so uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm Seth the Enthusiast, and as always, stay enthusiastic, my friends, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>